Welcome to Wake Up With God. We live stream daily Mass today. We attend the Holy Mass on Saturday, 27th, April 2024. Saturday of the fourth week of Eastertide. Christ, having been raised from the dead, will never die again. Death has no power over him anymore. Please keep quiet and concentrate on attending the Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My friends, today's Mass, God invites us to entrust ourselves to Him, especially all our cares, woes, and troubles. And we put our faith in this God who is our life, our way. Coming together as God's family with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, who is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Please be seated and let us listen to the word of God. Let us pray. O God, author of our freedom and of our salvation, listen to the voice of our pleading and grant that those who have re you have redeemed by the shedding of your blood, Son, we have life through you, and under your protection, rejoice forever unharmed. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated and let us listen to the word of God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Paul came to Antioch in Pisidia, he said in the synagogue, My brothers, children of the family of Abraham, and those others among you who are God-fearing, to us this word of salvation has been sent. The inhabitants of Jerusalem and their leaders failed to recognize him, and by condemning him, they fulfilled the oracles of the prophets that are read Sabbath after Sabbath. For even though they found no grounds for a death sentence, they asked Pilate to have him put to death. And when they had accomplished all that was written about him, they took him down from the tree and placed him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead, and for many days he appeared to those who had come up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. These are now his witnesses before the people. We ourselves are proclaiming this good news to you, that what God promised our fathers, he has brought fulfillment for us their children, by raising up Jesus. As it is written in the second psalm, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are my son. 
this day I have begotten you. You are Lord, my son, this day I have begotten you. Alleluia. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Alleluia. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for an inheritance, and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule with them with an iron rod. You shall shatter them like an earthen dish. You are my, you are son. my son. This day, this day I, I have begotten, begotten you. Alleluia. And now, O kings, give heed. Take warning, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice before him with trembling rejoice. You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Please all rise to honor the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If they were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Success, fame, and fortune. My dear friends, we seem to follow the rags to riches life of the lead character Tracy Chambers played by Diana Ross in a classic 1975 rom-com movie, Mahogany. As an aspiring black fashion designer, she was given an opportunity to put her first runway fashion show in Paris. But before being a successful designer, she was an assistant buyer at the luxury department store who rose from the ranks to be the lead purchaser. However, her love life was complicated. Her true love, Brian Walker, was a black activist and aspiring politician in Chicago with less support of her dream and her passion. The other suitors were either too possessive, too jealous, or too patronizing for her self-interest. One significant scene was when her true love, Brian, asked her before heading back to Chicago, leaving her in Paris. He confronted her saying, success means nothing unless you have someone to share it with. My dear friends, this famous song from this movie is, Do You Know Where You Are Going To? Perhaps a question posed by the song captured her confusion between choosing career as a famous model and fashion designer or pursuing a life with an aspiring politician in Chicago. She was troubled having to choose between love and career. This crossroad moment is captured so well in the lyrics of the song. <laughs> See, Tita Sonia will sing along. 
Now looking back at all we have planned, we let so many dreams just slip through our hands. Why must we wait so long before we see how sad the answers to those questions can be? Do you know where you are going to? Do you like the things that life is showing you? Where are you going to? Do you know? My dear friends, these questions resonate well with the questions of the troubled disciple Thomas. Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? In the Last Supper discourse, Jesus told them that one of them will betray him. All of them would deny him and he would leave them that night. In this grim prophecy, who would not be perplexed, confused, and worried? They would be lost as scattered sheep being attacked by wolves without a shepherd. Would they just run away for the fear of the Jews, or would they pursue preaching the good news of the risen Lord? And we can somehow sympathize with the disciples. There are times in our lives that we get anxious over life in the face of lingering illness. Feel troubled when things plan get out of control or get worried of the consequences of choosing the path for ourselves. What are we going to do? Where are we going to? Whom shall we go to? Like how Jesus answers it. Like how Jesus answers the disciples, he frankly and sincerely tells them, Don't let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. But like Thomas, instead of being consoled by the words of Jesus, we ask him, Lord, we do not know how to calm our troubled souls. Or Lord, how can we develop such a faith? It's difficult. But like Paul, who was a persecutor of the early Christians, even though it was inconceivable for him to be converted as an apostle, he became one. Even the Christian community was confused how their persecutor became one of them. Yet to the power of the risen Lord, Paul was showed the way, the way of conversion to the great mercy of God. The risen Lord confronted his unbelief with mercy that transformed him to trust in God and to be his follower. Paul's message to the Jewish community in Antioch was to trust in God who fulfilled his promise of old and raised Jesus from the dead. My dear friends, in today's Mass, this offer of transformative mercy is also offered to us by the risen Lord. In his mercy, we're invited to entrust ourselves to him, all our cares, troubles, and woes. And why do we put our faith in him? We trust and entrust ourselves in him because in him we live, we move, and have our being. He is our way, our truth, and our love. In the movie Mahogany, Tracy decided to be with Brian, leaving her flourishing career in Paris and going to Chicago to choose love. Perhaps in pursuing her ultimate love of her life, she trusted that all her other passions would follow suit because she has freely chosen what is good, what is love, what is her way. Let us now stand and offer our prayers to the Lord. <clears throat> Jesus asks us to dismiss useless anxieties from our minds. And if we ask the Father in his name, our prayers will be granted. And so with confidence we pray, Lord, teach us the path of life. Lord, Lord teach, teach us, us the path of life. of life. May we follow the way of love, which is to love God with all our heart and our neighbor as ourselves. We pray. Lord, teach us the path of life. 
May we hold on to the truth that you alone are our master and teacher, and you have the words of eternal life, we pray. Lord, Lord teach us a path of life. life. May we confess that you are the resurrection and the life, and that whoever believes in you will have eternal life, we pray. Lord, Lord teach, teach us the path of life. life. May nothing disturb us, nothing frighten us, for whoever has God lacks nothing, we pray. Lord, Lord teach, teach us the path of life. life. May you comfort the dying and welcome the departed ones to the place you have prepared for your faithful in your Father's house, we pray. Lord, Lord teach, teach us the path of life. life. For those celebrating their birthdays, Remy Ignacio, Sami and Maki Pineda, Tessie Amparo and Mariter Makapagal, FUT, Ixi Palma Alejo, and Father Philip Johan SJ. We pray. Lord, teach us the path of life. For the healing of Abby Puno, Michelle Salvador, Karina Ali, Bienvenido Tino. Seth Virgil de Dios, Cherry Ocampo, Joaquin Patawaran, Estela Garcia, Tisha Aganon, May Sainz, Gig Anover, Anacleto JR, and Junjun Badoy, Valentin Taliktik, Cruza Bagat Solon, and Laura Lopez. We pray. Lord, Lord teach us a path of life. For the repose of the souls of Isauro Peralta, Bonifacio Gisando, Sr. Aida Dalandan, Annie Hizot, Attorney Rene Sagisag, Jose Suntay Tanhanko Jr., Cesar Cabaldon and Betty Ramos, Ednena D. Laurel, we pray. Lord, Lord teach us the path of life. life. For the special intentions of Diego and Joaquin, Dennis and Sel, Reg and Didith Rodrigo, Bebot Miko and Maki Araneta, Sandy, Elo Santiago, Nate and Hans, Annie Bautista, Nightingale Keys, Mary Keys and family, Dennis Stan, Violet, Dr. Raymond and Judith Alonso, Jopi Badoy and Sam Rayala, Pineda family, Anisha C. and family, Liza Halandoni, Welvi Cadigoy, Hans Sion Zoles, Marivic Ocampo, Yvonne Cat Carlos, Marge Matutina, Naliza Nazareno, Susan Jorge, Lizzie Ann, Susie Lou, Marijo, Maricar Cecil, Grace D. and family, Gig, Carlos, and family. And for all the intentions sent to our Facebook pages at JustCom and Rajam Katipunan, we pray. Lord, Lord, Lord teach, teach us the path, path of life. life. Father, we turn to you with confidence that if we ask anything according to your will, you will hear us. Hear our prayers. We address to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness with this bread to offer, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness with this wine to offer, through the divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that our sacrifice will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. And at all times, acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more graciously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of all to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. By commending himself to you for our salvation, he showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, I will come with paschal joy. Every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers and angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a Jew fall, so that they become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which he poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Onest, our Bishop, all the clergy, and the entire people of God. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who will please you throughout the ages, we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we're there to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon Christ our Lord was handed over for our transgressions and was raised again for our justification. Alleluia. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom we have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in the resurrection who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.
cảm ơn các bạn đã xem video nếu thấy hay hãy nhấn like đăng ký kênh và comment để ủng hộ chúng mình nhé